Barbara Jo Rubin, the movie, The Journey, the first female jockey to ever win a race in the US in 1969. And I'm super excited, I'm so stoked. I, uh, I have the uh, tape from the Ed Sullivan show here uh, on my laptop right now. Christine and I just watched it. Uh, oh my God, it's so exciting. Uh, I'm just gonna show you guys a little bit, just a little teaser. I know it's cruel, but um, we don't want to show the uh, the whole thing just yet. Um, but I wanted to, to, you know, share a little bit of this experience. It's just oh my god, just so amazing. Uh, okay, and uh, all right, so here we go. Without further ado, um, let me put the volume up. Go. And here we go. The Journey, The Ed Sullivan Show. Now with us tonight is Barbara Jo Rubin, the 19-year-old girl jockey you all read about on Friday winning the third race at Aqueduct aboard two-year-old filly, uh, Bravey Galaxy, and yesterday won her second big race at the Big A by guiding Mayberry to a three-length victory. Ladies and gentlemen, here's this amazing girl, Barbara Jo Rubin. So let's have a fine... <laughs> well, come on! <laughs> come on, he said, come on, applause, applause more, oh my god, that's hilarious, Did you, I mean, I didn't even know that, like, I mean, it makes sense, but obviously, like, um, he's just so different today, so he wasn't even looking at the camera, he was reading off camera, um, and it was so funny to me that, uh, I mean, I'm, oh my god, I feel like I'm judging Mr. Ed Sullivan, I, I'm not a big respect, but it was just so interesting, you know, from a different era uh, or era. Um, but it was so interesting to me to just see that, and then he was like, uh, a Bravey Galaxy. I mean, hard name, horses is just crazy. But anyway, um, pretty amazing. Um, you know, it's not it's not a long tape. Another thing so interesting is I don't know if it's every single show. Um, I haven't seen many different episodes of the Ed Sullivan Show. Um, only the major ones with uh, the Beatles. I mean, just those those parts that most of us have seen. Uh, not an entire episode or um, uh, the Doors. You know, but. Uh, you know they were standing. You know she was standing up. They were both having the conversation. The conversation standing up, uh, where it is today. You know people sit and it's much usually longer, or whatever, more comfortable. I don't know. Maybe that was the thing at the time, um, or maybe because she was in just for you know a little bit. There were many other people uh, that day. Um, we couldn't get the part of of Janice. Uh, uh, Joplin. Joplin. I always get her name wrong. I apologize. Janice Joplin. And um, to to BJ, she was the most interesting thing of the show. The backstage, the way she was talking. Um, it was hilarious to her. Um, anyway, um, but yeah, that's basically what I wanted to share. <laughs> I was just so excited. Um, it's it's really cool, uh, you know. It took us a couple of months just to get a couple of minutes um, of this footage, but it's definitely rewarding um, in many ways. And uh, here I'm gonna I'm gonna share this end part where BJ is already gone, but because I've been talking about um, which I will share more, you know, throughout this week of. Um, Angel Cordero Jr. Uh, for for those of you who have uh, followed previous videos, uh, we did an interview with Angel, who was a really good friend um, to BJ, and a, it's a great jockey, almost a legend as well. And he he's a, a crucial um, a crucial character in the story, um, you know, to her to BJ, and so. Here's uh, after she left, Mr. Ed Sullivan mentions him. Barb was telling me at night that before the race on Friday, New York's leading rider, Angel Cordero, gave her some advice. He told her to be sure to wear gloves, and for good luck, he pinned her number four, her number, on her colors. And then he dumped a pail of water on her head. So that 
that really initiated it. That's the jockey's custom. There you go. That's the just the, the, the jockey's custom. That's what it is. Put water. <laughs> water down their head. That's the way we roll. Anyway, um, let's keep rocking it. I love this music. Yeah, it's exciting. And uh, until tomorrow, cheers.